what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl colors and i am back with another video and today's video is going to be about my 24 week bump date <sighs> I'm so sorry for putting this video out late, but you guys know it is the Thanksgiving holiday and there's been a lot of things going on. And also YouTube has been kind of messing with my channel. It's some weird things going on that just kind of not adding up. So I didn't want to um, put a video out if everyone wasn't going to get their notification. So I just decided to wait a little bit, but I didn't want to wait too long. And at this point, it's kind of like, oh, well, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. So I just want to kind of go ahead and move forward and put out some content. So if you are interested in hearing about my 24-week bump date, just please keep on watching. You guys, I don't know what happened. I feel like I got so much energy out of nowhere. So I did my makeup. I'm like, you know what? I am up late i'm bored i don't have nothing to do i can go ahead and put out this bump date and i feel like as soon as i finish doing my makeup whatever i get tired so if my energy is low i'm so sorry about it it's just that it's like 10 30 at night and i'm usually in bed at this time or looking at my phone or something or on my way to drifting off so let's just get right into it so the first thing I noticed for my 24 week bump date, which is getting more and more exciting, is that baby Isaac is actually moving a lot more often, like a lot. Like I said she was active before, she is really active and because she's growing, I'm starting to see more defined movement throughout my stomach. Actually, David was helping me put my pants leg in and I felt something hit my rib. And because I was moving already, I just go, Ugh. I thought I like pulled a muscle, but then I felt it again, like a couple of minutes later. And I'm like, oh my God. It's like, I know she's a baby, but starting to see more definition and things happening and the baby moving around is getting more real. The more these little things happen, I'm just like, yeah, she's here. She's coming and I am gonna be a mom. And it's crazy, but that is something big. She has been moving a lot more and getting more active each and every day. And it's crazy. The next thing I've noticed for my 24 week bump date is that I have officially started to outgrow my clothes. Like, <laughs> like this is not cute. Hold on, if I can even stand up, child, and show you the shirt. Look at this, hold on. I'm getting the under stomach situation. This is what's happening here. Under stomach. And that is a problem. <laughs> that is a problem, I'm not going in front and it's only gonna get worse. So, I have officially started to look for more clothes so I can be fashionable and be cute. I wanna be a cute pregnant mom. I don't wanna be sitting up here got under fat and everything like that. That's just not cute. But I got probably recently, cause you know Black Friday just in child. So I probably got about five or six outfits um, this past week and then I already bought probably like four or five the week before. So maybe I'll do like a little maternity haul showing you what it looks like in my new little clothes. I feel like ever since I got pregnant, I've been wanting to be more girly and more cute. I even thought about uh, wearing some crop tops, not crop tops with my stomach hanging out, but just when you got like slight stomach area, I don't know. You just have to see it. All the Instagram girls be doing it child and they be super cute super fly and i want to be just like them when i grow up so <laughs> uh we'll see how that goes that is what's been happening your girl is getting big <laughs> the next thing that has happened is that your girl can officially not see her vagina <laughs> i can't see my hot pocket I don't know what it looks like anymore. Like, of course, I could put up a mirror to it and, you know, get my life together. But I can't see it no more. And now when I be shaving and stuff like that, I just be missing stuff. Because when me and Dave went shopping for my maternity clothes, um, he was like, ooh, babe. <laughs> You miss some spots. You need a Brazilian wax or something like that. Cause you definitely miss some spots. And I was like, I can't see. And usually, um, 
see, I have prepped David way beforehand of getting pregnant for the day that I won't be able to see my vagina and that he needs to learn how to shave my private parts, you know what I'm saying? So, I know he got to my life, but I just don't want to be calling him all the time because you know when you're pregnant, hair grows faster. So, I don't need to be calling him every two or three days. Like, that's the problem. So, I be trying to, like, get my life, but clearly it's not working because he said that I got to do better. And I'm not even at full capacity yet. So, I don't know. But one thing I do know, the worse it get, the more likely David going to be helping my life. The next thing that has been going on in my 24 week is that I noticed that I get extremely dry lips. Like, what's up with this? Like, I'm getting extreme. My, my lips be looking so dry. Like, I, like I, my lips already be kind of chapped. I ain't going to much lie. But, like, now it's like I be like, maybe because I be dehydrated. I don't know. But I swear I'm always thirsty because, you know, dry lips is a sign of dehydration. But I feel like it is at a whole new level and i feel like i gotta get the real cheap cheap lip gloss that when you talk it almost want to like sit together because it's so sticky i gotta use something like that to uh get through <laughs> because my lips be that dry the next thing i have noticed in my 24th week is that your girl can barely talk <laughs> I swear, like, I be getting so winded. I mean, I feel like I say that every week, but I feel like each week it gets worse and worse and worse. And I feel like sometimes I have to pause and take a breather before I finish talking. It's like, you can't be that tired when you're not doing anything. So I went from last week having all this energy to now it's like I have no energy and I'm exhausted and I get really winded. I still got three months to go. The next thing that has happened this week, oh, this is not like a sentiment or anything, but this is kind of like a side note. I got a bill in the mail for $3,500 and they tried it, okay? <laughs> They have tried my life with this medical bill, child. I'm still paying the $40 a week. I don't know what happened, but for some reason with my doctor on my very first appointment with the fetal medicine, it was declined by my insurance. And they billed us for $3,500. And I said, no ma'am. The main thing that stuck out to me was the fact that one appointment is not covered by insurance is $3,500. That's crazy, yo. Imagine if I didn't have insurance. Like, that would be something someone paid. And it's almost like you're at fault for having a high-risk issue that you need to go to the doctor and be seen every single week. So someone who doesn't have insurance like that has to pay $35 an appointment until they deliver their baby. That was ridiculous. But I ended up calling claims child. Just tell them to figure that out because I know that's a lie. <laughs> And they said, cool, they'll look into it. Most likely that they will be covering it. But when that thing came in the mail, I said the devil's a lie. Off topic, but let's keep moving. <laughs> the next thing that happened this week is that, oh, my belly button is starting to pop out. And it's getting really smooth. Like, the texture of my belly button is so, like, silky a little bit. And I'm just like, this happened overnight. First of all, me getting a stomach almost happened, like, overnight. And then now it's like, my belly button's starting to, like, push out. And I'm not used to that. So now I catch myself rubbing my belly button a lot. Even David does it. Like, when he just wants to, like, sit on the couch, he'll, like, rub my belly button. It's so weird. Oh, the next thing that has been going on really past this week, but I think it's starting to get worse through this week that made me really be, take a moment and be like, all right, this is getting bad. But I noticed I am getting very dry skin in the middle of my boobs. Like, what's up with that? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of maybe it's being like overly stretched out because my boobs are getting bigger. But my actual cleavage part is like extremely dry. I have to put oil in all the time. But no matter how much oil or lotion and stuff I put on it, it's silky right there too. So it's almost like the same texture as my belly, but, it, but it's like scarring a little bit. 
and I don't know what to do about it, but I never thought that would happen. And it's like dead center. So now I am very uncomfortable with showing anything that's in my cleavage or I have to push my girls together because I don't know what that's about. And I don't know if it'll go away. If you guys don't have any information about what I can do about that or if that has happened to you, let me know. Please put it down in the comments. But this is kind of dragging me into my next point and that is that my boobs are starting to get stretch marks. Why? Why did nobody tell me about getting stretch marks on your boobs? Like, when did that become a thing? So all along the sides of my boobs, I'm starting to get stretch marks. Then I already got the little rip mark in the middle. I don't wanna have all these marks all over my boobs. And then I had took a picture very closely, you guys, but I was gonna take a picture and post up what the little rip mark looked like, but I was like, no, this is look a hot mess. I just can't. And I think my nipples are starting to grow even bigger. I've been putting oil on my boobs for the stretch marks because it's starting to get black. And my skin, if you can kind of tell here, like, my skin is very light on my chest. Don't look at my hands, and <laughs> this made me think of makeup in general because people like, match your hands. Don't never match your hands because my hands always been really dark compared to anything else on me. But my uh, stretch marks are getting dark and then my chest is light. Now I look like little lightning bolts coming down the side of my boobs. Like that's just not cute. But the next thing that has happened this week is that I went to the doctors to get my glucose test. I did film that video, so that video will be coming out very soon. But um, I did um, get my glucose testing done as well as I spoke to the doctor about some things that has been going on as far as symptoms and you know, everything's been pretty much normal as everything that I have told y'all is nothing really different, but I had to catch that doctor up. So we have decided towards the end that we will be seeing him a lot more often, which is not a bad thing, you know. Uh, I guess they want to start watching me closely because the baby is getting bigger. So if I would have waited four weeks, I would be technically 30, almost 30 weeks and that is too far so he said he wanted to start seeing me every single week so pretty much i'll be seeing one doctor every week <laughs> and the last thing that has happened this week is that david has seen the baby kick for the very first time which was very exciting but very underwhelming at the same time child because he didn't give the reaction how i thought he was gonna give he was excited but he was just kind of like nah i don't i don't want to I don't want to hurt the baby, so I don't want to press her stomach because I was like, put put your hand on the stomach. I think she's going to kick right there. And he felt, he was like, yeah, I felt that. All right, like, I don't want to do too much. And I'm just like, babe, like, no, I know my body. You ain't going to hurt me. Not more than how she kicking me, child. But I know him. He's very, like, his initial reaction to things that he's excited about is very, like, calm. And then over time, he kind of gets excited more and more, or he anticipates things happening. So now he actually talks to her, and now she actually moves when he talks to her. Sometimes she don't be moving when she be talking, when I be talking to her child. And I was like, she probably very much gonna be a daddy's girl for sure. I think most girls are in general, but like I feel like it's a whole different type movement when he talks to her because he does like to talk to my stomach and kiss my stomach all the time and it's so cute already but uh it hasn't been a lot of things that has been happening uh as far as my symptoms as far as bed rest i am on modified bed rest so basically the doctor has noticed that i am starting to get a little bit of bruising from laying down too much so he just basically told me to make sure that I make it a point to get up during days and massage my legs and my butt and stuff like that and walk around the house and try to get up a little bit more so that I'm not creating deeper issues. But outside of that, the pain has not been as bad. Uh, I noticed that when I'm more active is when some of my pains come back. But I actually think that things are getting, as far as my feeling, a lot better than I anticipated but I'm just gonna juggle around days and times that I 
start to be more active, I'll make it a point that I also am on bed rest too. So that is kind of an update on my high risk uh, bed rest situation. But outside of that, I think that's pretty much it with symptoms. Let's talk baby. So let me go ahead and open up this app and see what has been going on during the 24 week. So on the app, it gives you a view of what a 2D 24 week foot would look like. And it'll look like that. That is a real foot, you guys. It ain't my baby's foot, but that is a foot. Okay, so it says during this week, the baby hair is beginning to change to the color that it will be during birth. I'm so excited. I hope baby has a lot of hair. Your baby weight will double in the next four weeks, which I do believe. Right now your baby weighs about the same as a lengthy paperback navel. What is that? I don't know, but last time I checked she was a pound and a half. So I think she has to be around 1.8. The lungs are developing and preparing for her first breast. Loud noises may startle your baby, which I believe. I think I have experienced that. It says you should be waddling when you walk at this stage. I definitely walk like a penguin, but it may be because of the high risk situation. So who knows? Yeah, that's pretty much all for her update. Let's go to the size chart. This week, uh, she's still supposed to be the size of an eggplant. It says in between 22 to 24 weeks, a baby will be the size of an eggplant. So she's pretty much the same size as she was the week before. But yeah, I feel like I didn't get a lot of symptoms this week, but this is pretty much that's all that has happened. So I guess at this point, I can just show you guys the belly bump. <laughs> I'm so curious if I'm still fitting on this measuring tape child. So this is she. If my belly's ashy, I just got the shower. So, so time to pull up this. This is what she looking like from the side profile. And this is her front side. But can you tell that my belly button is starting to really stretch out? You probably don't know, cause you probably like, what's your belly button look like before? Yeah, it's starting to stretch out there. And this is the other side. So let's go ahead and do this measuring tape thing. Let's see if I'm still fitting on it. So I think last time I was about 38 and a half. Lord. It wasn't, oh Lord, wait a minute. You guys, I might be 39 inches now. What is that saying? Let me look in the mirror. 39 inches. Oh, I'm on like the last bar. Let me look at my back. That's all right. I think that this means that the tape measure is officially dead, you guys. You see that? I'm on the last notch. So there's nothing else to measure after this. So I'm gonna have to find me a new measure tape. So it's 39 and a half inches. So I guess that's gonna be all for this video for this week's pop date. Um, I'm just really excited to see what's gonna happen in the next coming weeks because you know, I'm supposed to double in size. So I definitely gotta get me a new measure tape cause that one clearly is not gonna work no more. But I'm excited, things are still looking pretty good and you know, enjoy every moment as it comes. I know it may sound like I'm complaining, but you know, that's just how I am, that's just my personality type. But at the same time, I cherish everything, every symptom. And I just feel so blessed to even have this much time with her. And I just can't wait for the day I actually meet her. Am, am I getting sentimental? Is this what this happened? No, it's not supposed to like be like this, but yeah, that's how it is. And I'm very excited to be her mom and to grow and for her to challenge me and to grow me as a person as well as me and David teach her, you know, the ways of life. So yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this week. And I will just see you guys in the next one. Come right to your mom.